Underfunded and stigmatized, that's how stakeholders describe the issue of mental health and substance abuse in North Carolina. WRL's Destiny Patterson was there as lawmakers and advocates discuss the state's challenges today. She joined us live from the Terry Sanford Federal Building. Destiny? Gerald, just inside these doors, we heard from lawmakers and other stakeholders as well to talk about the need to help out when it comes to funding and eliminating the stigma for mental health and substance abuse disorder. Now, the bill sponsor for the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act says that he wants to make North Carolina a trailblazer when it comes to fighting and helping in these efforts. Secretary, this group understands the dire issues of mental health and substance abuse in North Carolina. It's not a matter of uh, if it's going to happen, it's just when it's going to happen in your life. Mental health struggles are something even these lawmakers experience. I personally experienced pharmacologically induced mania followed by serious depression. I don't think any of my colleagues knew what I was struggling with. U.S. Senator Tom Tillis says his personal experiences fueled his passion for the topic. I know we got a lot of work to get, do. He started with the bipartisan Safer Communities Act, funneling funding into behavioral health clinics, mental health awareness training, and access to health care services in schools. It has been underfunded for a very long time, um, stigmatized for a very long time, um, and I think we're seeing it first and foremost in children. High school students with depression are more than two times more likely to drop out. And more than two million people a year booked into jails have serious mental illness. If we don't do something to, to assess and deal with children, we're going to have adults that are going to be in jail or on the street and having having crisis. Tilla says tools like telehealth are one way to help. One of the few positive of things that came out of COVID. During that meeting, they also discussed hurdles like insurance coverage and really focused in on the need to help out veterans and those who are incarcerated. It's such an important topic. Destiny Patterson, live in Raleigh. Thank you, Destiny.